paint.co.uk welcome back to another craft tutorial i don't think we're going to be making a card don't think so but you never know if anyone's been watching my recent videos you know how things can just change and develop and evolve and you know when that creativity process starts happening and you really get into it anyway my plan isn't to make a card just yet but definitely to decorate one of these pizza boxes so I discovered in my stash that I have a few of these so I thought it would be nice to use these up maybe put some little treats in maybe make some treats make some nice little edible treats or something then the other thing I wanted to use was the memories and more kit now let me just remind myself the name of this no that's not it oh where's it gone I did have the name of this anyway I think there's only two available in the main catalogue so it's it's one of the other <laughs> one or the other rather i'm just going to grab my catalogue and refresh my memory so welcome to everybody who's watching on the replay thank you so much for dropping by uh, the memories for every season there we go lots of flowers basically the idea with this set is that you've got flowers from every um sort of around the time of all around the year no matter what where you live sort of nor uh, northern or southern hemisphere so we've got summery we've got spring we've got winter and we have autumn and there's various uh four by six pieces of card with different patterns very nice patterns on there and then some three by four and I remember last year, I think when we went away on holiday, I took this with me and started cutting out different elements. So I do have some bits and pieces already cut out. Look at that. I've actually cut that from there. And then also cut some, some words as well. So the sort of area that we're going to be working to is... Let me get my ruler, double check. <clears throat> It's approximately three by three. That that's kind of what we're aiming for, and that's a nice little kind of canvas size, really. You know, it's a, a cute kind of size to do this. Anyway, hello everybody, welcome to um, the video. Let me see who's on the live to say hello to. Hi Christine. Hi Liz. Hi Deborah. Hi Anna. Hi Martina, Mindy, Monica, great to see you guys. Um, I'm trying to think, did I show this video out everywhere? I think I did, I must have done. Anyway, please do share this video with anyone who you think might enjoy this and we'll get, get creative. Um, I'm thinking that what I may do is actually have a few different canvases on the go. Now I know that it's a three by three kind of size that we're aiming for, um, I might might do a few so let's grab my trimmer cut down some of these pieces of card so this is helpful where you know you've got an all over design and I know that that measures three inches already so that's easy peasy to get sorted hi Wendy nice to see you and oh that one's I wonder if that would be quite interesting to cut that one down and also we've got this piece here. So this is gonna, I'm going to pop this directly into my scrap box uh, because I, I have accumulated a few scraps ready to do a scrappy video. I know some of you guys like that. Is the Sprite asleep? What do you mean by that, Mindy? Oh, that's quite a nice, happy, bright one as well. You got your laptop to. <laughs> oh, Martina's laptop's giving her the cold shoulder. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Wendy's little one. Okay, now I'm wondering with this one, could I cut a bit off the top and a bit off the bottom, and and then do something else in the middle? Hmm. So basically, I just need to cut off half an inch off the top. I may even go slightly under half an inch. Just do that. 
So just over a centimetre off each side. Then I'll put something through there. Just having a nice play around with different card um, textures and things like that. Now this is quite a nice one to cut out different elements. So we could create some floral something there. And again this one we could cut down and have that as a focal point. So I'm going to cut that down to... So incidentally this kit is reduced in the clearance, not clearance, the... Kind of retirement list. Okay, so let's see. That's nice, isn't it? And I was thinking we could cut out some of these big flowers with our skitters. So I'm going to do a quick rough cut out along all the points of the sunflower there. I'm going to miss out that leaf because I think we'll create a leaf from something else in a minute. Now if you don't want to make a gift box or decorate a gift box that's absolutely fine. You can just create a card topper basically. So use these ideas and create something that would go on a card or even a scrapbook layout. You can create little pieces of artwork that you can then team up later on and put with photographs okay so just think about the applic you know use your imaginations for the application because just because you're seeing me decorate a box doesn't mean you have to do that so hi Delinda now I don't know what's going on with uh my channel seems like everyone's uh, perhaps busy or if I'm am I on too early not so many have popped on so I'm hoping there's no glitch with YouTube I thought I did share it out broadly but um it might have been because I put I put a video on earlier, so everyone's like, oh, I've had my Ruth fix for today. <laughs> it can happen. You know, people can have too much of me. Right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I like that. So, what else do we want? I've got these beautiful wooden embellishments, which I promised myself that I was going to use more of these. But just haven't got round to doing so, so I'm going to use them today. It's so nice. I'll pop that one out. There we go. Right. I'm going to add a little bit more texture to this by just creasing, going around the edges and creasing that up. And what you can do is actually cut down the side of some of these petals to get them to lift up a little bit. So find find the image of the petal that's at the top. You see, see what I mean? So like that one looks like it's on the top. So I'm just going to cut into that a little bit. So it means it will sit stand out a little bit more. Hi Janice. Nice to see you. There we go. A little bit of pretty. So we've got, no, I did have some words cut out. Thankful. There we go. Thank, I could have thankful for, and I did spot the U. I have got it somewhere. There it is. Thankful for you. There we go. That could look nice across there. I feel like I could have a little bit of foliage, so I'm just 
going to have a look at some of these cards and see if there's anything that I can cut out. Oh, what about if... I was going to say if I cut out some of those. Let's see what else there is. See, I'm, I'm too lazy to fussy cut that out. I'm just going to say that now. I, I am far too lazy to be cutting all that out. Um... You know what, I think I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to get the sprig punch out. Oh, now I might want to use that for something, so I'm going to be careful not to uh, cut out that image. I'm going to punch around it. How frugal am I? <laughs> oh dear. There we go. So that gives me my little scriggies. Hi Dylan. Uh, I've said hello to Dylan already. Hi Vicky. Hi Kay. Hi Deborah. I did share around. Okay, it must be just a quiet evening or, I don't know, maybe people are getting ready for the weekend and, yeah. I guess it is sort of Easter, Easter holidays in a sense. I had someone pop by today and say hi and she kept saying, um, oh, have a lovely relaxing weekend. And, and I was thinking, oh, uh, oh yes, it is Easter weekend. <laughs> um... Not that I'm planning to think too relaxing, but we're still going to be busy. Although Tom's planning to take a, a week off after Easter. So. I know, waste not, want not, Deborah. You understand. <laughs> oh, you're watching Esther's replay, Vicky. Oh, that's all right. That's allowed. You know what, funny enough, Delinda, today has been the weirdest cold day. Yesterday was so sunny and amazing. I was in a vest top yesterday and caught the sun. Not, I wasn't red, but I, I just, you know, when, you know, when you've been out in the sun all day, you just feel like your skin's warmed up a bit. And uh, that was us yesterday. And now tonight, it's like, oh, it is cold. Hi Claire. Claire's not used to me being a, on this early. <laughs> okay, so those are my little leaves that... You know what, I'm going to take my time tonight. We're going to make this pretty. Let's pop those in. Now, I have cheated a little bit. I have warmed up my heat gun. Oh dear, which is slowly blobbing way over everything in this corner. Oops. I didn't realise my stuff had gone over there. Right, I'm going to stick that in my scrappy bin. So this is where the silicone sheet is really useful because it protects. No, I, no, I wasn't sunburned. I just felt like all aglow, Mika, um, Martina. <laughs> like I'm sure you did in the garden yesterday or the other day. It just felt like, yes. I felt like my skin was glowing a bit more. Hi, Charlie. Ah, oh, welcome. Great to have you here. So please do ask me any questions about what you're seeing me do. If it's the first time, you know, you're watching a craft video and you're, you're really not quite sure what I'm up to, then please do ask. So I'm using wet glue here just to adhere the card to my box. I'm just going to double check, is this the, oh no, that's the wrong side, I've just realised. Is that the base? No, that's the base. 
that's the top. Oh dear. I'll stick something else on the bottom. Oh, fair enough, Martina. Yeah, so apparently we are expecting some sort of sleety weather, sleet and snow weather, after the weekend. Very bizarre. Right. Come here, all of you. Pieces. Let's pop you, pop that there, that there, so I can have everything on hand. I do like this brownie wooden thing, it's fab. Oh, that's nice Anna, if it is. Yeah, I don't don't blame you, Delinda. Yeah, because this if it gets all frosty, your poor flowers are gonna have it. Yeah, how's your how's your knee doing today, Kay? Oh, just thought, where's my pink finger? Just gonna get my pink finger out because I'm no main glue. Oh, I don't need to stick that so place in there. Oh, that's good. Okay. So obviously this could be used, you know, as a pretty element on a card. Very simple. So again, focal point in the middle and things splaying out from it. And then it just helps to get that focal point there. Got one more of these little green things. So I'm going to stick that in somewhere. Put that there. And I think I'm going to get the small dimensionals to put my... sentiment down. Yes, these are memories of more. Yes. Yes, he did, thank you. We've just um, not done anything super exciting, have we, Ethan? Um, have we had a good day, Ethan? Yeah, it's been pretty chill. It has. He's had lots of chocolate, haven't you? Lots of money. Yeah. He's happy. He can start paying rent now, you see. <laughs> oh, hi, Annika. Hi, Beverly. Lovely to see you. Oh, that's a shame, Anna. Yeah, Frost will do that, I'm afraid. 
Oh, well done, Sue. Yeah, it's it's a good purchase. I mean, I think they're good value for money anyway, but when they go half price or 40% off, they're even better. Yeah. And they're great for knocking up very quick cards. Yeah, very, very quick cards. Right, so now I need to pick something that matches with these colours to decorate the base there. So. Do something like that, I think. Be nice. Yay. Right. Just cut that down, get that stuck on, and that'll be one done. One out the way. So if that's that way round, let's flip that round like that. Pop that on the bottom. Actually, you could even put your message on the bottom here. Nice. Oh, it was the sun, not the frost. Oh, okay, fair enough, P. Um, Anna, yeah. Right, so let's put this together. So these are quite easy. You just follow the kind of the crease marks and uh, pop that inside like that. That goes in like that and kind of sticks into the the cuts there. Now yeah, these are perfect size for a, a cookie or a piece of flap junk, I think. There we go. There we go. Who would like one of these? See, anyone would like one of these. So cute. Yeah, <laughs> we thought the same thing, Deborah. Right, what was the other piece I had here? I had this one, didn't I? Hmm. Right, let's see what else we've got. Now this one has got a very kind of Christmassy feel to it, I believe. So, um, you use the golden boxes. Ah, that's good, Inika. Yeah, they're fun. Nice and easy to put together. But I think this can look quite wintry this sort of foliage it looks a bit like mistletoe it doesn't sorry no just i should rephrase that it doesn't look like mistletoe it just reminds me of mistletoe oh hi sheila i did wonder because um there's quite a few less people on this evening and i'm wondering if it's because the notifications haven't been working I forgot to message you. Sometimes I remember to message you. Okay, so I'm just looking for some kind of lovely flower that I could put in the middle there. I'm looking through all of these pieces here. Oh, the other thing I'd really like to use is we've got some lovely wording here. So, um, hmm... you. Hmm, not sure if I... Happy. I don't know if I want any of those actually. <laughs> oh well, there we go. Happy today. Beautiful. Be lovely. Lovely you. 
celebrate today. Happy feeling. Mm. I'm not sure they're my kind of sentiments, to be quite honest. Oh, 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 this is exciting. I could use something off here, couldn't I? Oh, there's that lovely white one there. I can use that in a sec. Oh, and then there's this lovely frame. Ah, okay. Now, I wonder if I could use that with something else. Okay, let's see if there's any other words I could use. Um, joy today. I'm trying to think what I can mix and match with these. Just joy. Feeling joy, be joy. Be calm. <laughs> you can have be calm. <laughs> be here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, okay, let's see what else have we got. Uh, amazing. Amazing love. Oh, now that would do for Easter, wouldn't it? Amazing love. Oh, wow. Right. So if I pop that there like that, let's get these stuck down first and then I can um, start thinking about this focal point. Just joy. You like that one, do you? Right, so because we've got these uh, sort of 3D elements here, I feel like I just want to pop um, some dimensionals so that the label doesn't kind of collapse in, in this area. The blue is slightly too green on the sentiments. The blue is slightly too green. Now it doesn't quite cover up that feeling, what's that say, feeling festive, but that scroll just looks like a bit of the design. So that's quite cool. Uh, what did we say? Just joy. Fuck off. Oh, just, there it is. Just. Oop. Oop. Oh, there's a little bit of the inside I need to take out there. Just joy. Yes, I think I'll do the next one as Amazing Love, Delinda. Uh, Deborah, sorry. Misreading comment there. Just a joy. That goes nice. It's brown, so it's nice. It goes with the kind of the background there. And then we do have this pretty element that we could... I think I'll pop that on first. There we go. That's a sticker. That's really handy. Really easy to pop down. Any dimensions gone? I have them just here. Oh, there they are. You don't use memories anymore. Well, I I don't generally, but I think they're a really good value for money if you want to get a few of the designs. I, I, for example, I didn't buy the designer series paper for this suite because 
I thought the Memories and More pack just gave you lots of options if you wanted a little bit of pattern for something. So that's the reason I got it. You got your order in. Well done, Sheila. Yes, the the pre-order list was a bit tricky to find on the website, to be honest. Yeah, I was I was grateful my upline shared the direct link, so it kind of made it a bit easier to find. But I I get what you're saying. Right, there's some nice leaves in here that I thought might be quite nice to take out these see these are great if you can't be bothered to um, get your machine out and cut them out you know because there are some dies that do similar leafage but sometimes we want simple we want to just be able to stick it in on there that slip into there Oh yes, there we go. See, it can be very tempting to buy these things and then not use them because you think, oh, I don't want to use that because it's just so pretty. But you know what? Just use them. Bless somebody with, with it. Right. So these come in packs of eight. All ready, look, all scored and done and... Fabulous. Now, okay, this time, stick it on the top, Ruth. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, was that the glue that worked? It's so relaxing, these colours. I love it. And of course, you don't actually have to store it folded up. If, if you've got an issue of space or lack thereof, you can always just fold, keep these flat until you need them. But I'm going to fold them for you. Oh, sorry. Just to show you what they look like. Take these bits out. Oh, and I've just remembered, maybe I didn't do that with the others. That's why it didn't sit so well. So there's this little bit of cardboard that you need to poke out. Hi, uh, um, Donna. Nice to see you. You've got your retiring stuff today and your pre-order sent in. Marvellous. I think those guys at the Stamping Up uh, Warehouse are going to be very busy. And they've got holiday. And they're on holiday tomorrow. I think the next few days. Yeah. Oops, there we go. How cute is that? Right, I'm just going to check on this one because, like I said, I'm not sure that I popped the air. I didn't. I didn't pop those little bits of cardboard out. See here? This bit here? That needs to come out in order for it to work properly. Take care, Deborah. Rest well. Thank you for popping in. So I'm wondering whether to, because I did it on the other one, to put a bit of something on the back of this one because I did cut that one and it does match so let's do it oh I bet they will be Vicky yeah I really honestly hats off to the guys that work at the warehouse with all the Covid restrictions and everything and yeah I know we want our goodies and we wanted them tomorrow, but, you know, I just think those guys are doing a sterling job there. Right, so we've done a bluey one. We've done a yellowy one. 
So let's, this time, should we do a kind of more bright, a jersey one? I'm, I'm feeling this. I wonder if I can find a daisy to cut out. Or even, oh, there's these massive roses. Maybe I'll save that for something else. No, I'm still feeling the idea of a daisy. Let's see if I can find a daisy. Got one there. Oh, got your GI. Hi, Linda. I know that's what I said we want ours yesterday, don't we? But, you know, good things come to those who wait and all that. That's quite nice. I wonder if I could actually cut that, if I cut that sentiment out from the heart, that might be quite nice. I'm going to leave my words out just in case. Or even that bouquet. That's quite nice. Oh, I'll leave that out as well. Sorry, I know I'm not very good at making my mind up. Oh, look, I've got those daisies. Sort of half cut out there. Ooh. Hi, Monica. Nice to see you. Yeah, do say hi twice if I don't see you. Or sometimes I don't say sometimes I don't say hello to anybody so that way no one feels left out. <laughs> but generally I do try and say hello to people if I see see you come in. Cut with a label maybe. What this one to put with a label. We will see. I'm trying to do it really quickly. Because who wants to sit and watch someone cut fussy cut for too long, eh? I know some of you out there find this relaxing. But... lost then okay yeah maybe one of those with a tag is that what you were sort of saying you know what I'm just gonna go for it just do it pop that there like that and I feel like there should be something unless I do it that way that there like that I feel like there needs to be another colour breaking that up from that because it looks like it's just going to meld into one so I think that would be a good idea the way I hack into them yeah just do it you know it's just card you know you, you haven't I, I wonder if sometimes we think that whoever the artist was behind this is sort of sitting over our shoulder going <gasps> She's <laughs> you haven't, I promise, you haven't. Once you have paid your money and you have the product in your hand, it is yours to do with whatsoever thou wishes. So use it to your delight. Now I'm not sure about from the heart now. <laughs> I'm going to see if there's another sentiment that might be nice. You inspire me. Okay. Winter wishes, no. Bloom and grow. Mm. Bloom and grow forever.
Do we have a... Just checking what words we've got here because we've got on my mind and I thought if we had always on my mind. <laughs> you are on my mind. We haven't got an R. Have we? Whoops. We, uh, misty Moonlight would be a nice contrast. Yes, that is Misty Moonlight actually. Right. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. I wonder if we can cut this up. Be careful how I do this so I can maybe use the, the other side. Ooh. Okay, so my thought was to actually cut that sunshine bit out, but I think, you know what, I'm feeling a bit lazy. I'm not going to do that. Oh, I need to sit down. I'm just having to reply to something. Oh, no. Right, there we go. Now to create a little bit more contrast, I'm going to have a little play with these, ooh, just drop one, leaves here. Or I'm wondering whether some ribbon or something behind might look cool. Oh, I've got some mint macaron. Oh, and I've got some gingham. Oh, you know how much I love gingham and florals. Florals. What about? Doing that in the background. So it has a lot of gingham in the background. <laughs> no. Let's try something else. I like sometimes creating a bit of a kind of ruffly thing. So if I tuck that under there and then pop that there. Hmm. Maybe. Let me see what that looks like. So to create your little gingham embellishment, I recommend, yeah, if you've got a glue gun, just makes life a bit easier and quicker. If you're able to do this. So, just a little thing like that. A 
blob down. Do that. And then get your silicone mat and then just hold that count to ten. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have oh I must have run out of misty moonlight ribbon I think I did have some when the colours first came out last year but um I've run out of it it's such a lovely colour okay now I've done that where's my box gone where's my thing oh it's underneath <laughs> I'm losing tabs on it then so I can sort of pull that back a little bit. Ooh, go on, under you go. I'm going to get my shovel tool. Get that under. I can always glue dot that down, can't I, afterwards? Stick that there like that. And then this could kind of waft over. Yes. Very nice. Right, a bit more glue on there. I'm going to try and lift this up a little bit more to get that underneath. Hold that for a second. And I think I'm going to actually glue gun this down because some of it is going to be on the ribbon. Just push it down gently and you can kind of feel once it's cool because it just feels cool so once it's cooled you're okay it is pretty paper isn't it Cindy it's from the Me memories and more kit yeah it's not actually paper there is I think there's six by six paper for this sweet I do believe I think I had some pieces of it I did a paper share um, and I think I had a couple of pieces from it, but um, there we go. Oh, and what about some embellies? What about some little ladybug embellishments? <laughs> yes, let's do this. Let me use these up. So the ladybug embellishments, if you don't know this about them, they're a little bit hollow. So you need to pack full the hollow bit with some glue dot. And then you get another glue dot and pack that into and then it makes it easy to stick down. See, I'm still not feeling it in this area. I feel that. I need to put some sort of greeny something or other just under here. Um, mm, 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 mm. I've got this left over from the other night. Should I use that? I've got, I've got some pieces left over from when I was doing that smooshing technique. I feel like I can't just have one, I'd have to have two. Yes, let's do that. Where's my mini dimensionals gone? I keep, it's funny isn't it? Some days the mini dimensionals are always on my desk and then today they keep disappearing. I'll use these ones instead. You can use a dimensional to fill. Yes, you have to cut it quite small though, Wendy. That's the only thing. But yes, you can. There we go. Oh, I'm happier now. That one can go in there. Just felt, felt like it needed a bit more. Coloured the stickers. Which stickers? These stickers. Oh, yes. I could have done that. Hmm. Is this just jade? 
I'm not sure I have this colour. What colour do I have here? Light Cormy Clover. Um, let's brush a bit of that on. This is a retired colour, by the way. Hi, Janine. Being very careful the way I do that. There we go. Hi, Catherine. Oh, oh, that's weird. That that bit was separating from that bit. There we go, that's better. Feeling much happier. And now the ladybird's got somewhere to sit. Although he gets a bit lost there, so I'm wondering whether to pop him on a pop him on a flower there like that. How cute. Oh, you can get carried away with these little th things. They end up being quite like little works of art, really. So um I'm wondering whether I can put any of these anywhere. Like little embellishments, but no, I think I'll leave that. Right, let's grab another box. Where did I put them? Okay. These are quick. Right, so that one can be stuck on there like that. Oh, thank you, Catherine. And I did cut a piece, didn't I? There was another square piece. Here it is. That could go on the back, couldn't it? And that would match. Look how cute. Oh, Cindy, we're going to have to see photographs. I think we should maybe do a quick little zoom afterwards to find out what Cindy's haircut's like. What's everyone doing tonight, today? Are you all busy for the Easter weekend? Oh, Liz has got a new haircut as well. Oh, and Janine's doing fine after her. Oh, you're well welcome, Cindy Fox. You're heading off to New Jersey. When are you leaving, Janine? Today or tomorrow? Oh, you gals all going out to the hairdressers. Okay, people who've used these, am I meant to push that down, like when I close it? Will will that hold it into place? I'm not going to do it now, but just so that I have that information. There we go. And then put that on the back. Hide a skip for a good declutter. Well done, you, Donna. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Doing good. All right, have we got time for another one? I really like the idea of doing some red roses, pink roses rather, on some sort of polka dot effect, if there is one in here. If not, I might just steal some polka dot from... Um, 
see that's polka dotty but that's not quite right I might steal some for the black and white polka dot and have pink on black and white I love that combination hmm nope doesn't look like there is any pokers polka polka oh I've got this piece as well but that's quite a bit big that is big it is too big okay let's have a look I've got some of the black and white paper oh and I already have one cup not quite the combination I wanted but let's make this work put a bit of that off what is a skip <laughs> says Jenny I guess you guys don't use that term in America yeah it's what what Donna's just said it's like a huge metal container and you can you can purchase various sizes so it depends how much rubbish you have to throw away really and you, you basically fill it and you, you have there's sometimes a limit as to how much how many tons but um, it's a way of disposing of things without having to take it to the the dump or the uh, tip the company disposes of it for you Yes, dumpster. What was that about the 3D? Oh, well done, Martina. That's a good idea. Okay, so I don't think I need many of these roses. And I'm not going to be too strict about how I fussy cut these out because I don't need a line around them. So... I just just go around roughly really doesn't matter if you miss a few bits out oh love that classy or what let's could do the biggest skip thing well the company I got um, I had a skip Liz when we moved house just a small one and it came to just over a hundred pounds and it's amazing how much you can get into it and um, it was w really worth it I thought because it would have taken so many trips backwards and forwards to the dump to do that and the stress of it all and the you know the backache you'd get from having to load your car and it, I think it's actually really worth it um, I got it locally from the tool hire place you're currently having an adult beverage and cookies oh making cookies nice oh I'm liking this this is super stylish if I say so myself Right, where are those little wooden things now? I want to use those. Here they are. See, I think we could put some of these in here somewhere. Once this is all stuck down. Dimension. No, the bonnet. The bonnet is at the front, and the trunk is at the back. Or the hood. Yeah. Although there are some cars that don't Volkswagen beat Volkswagen Beetles. Don't they have the? Um, 
they have the engines at the back, don't they? Oh, now I can see the glue. <sighs> oh, I know what we can do. Our faithful friend. Now, this is coming back in the annual catalogue. I was very happy to see it in the annual. The new annual that's going to be out soon. So, this stuff covers up a multitude of sins. This stuff, look at that. There we go. Wrinkly dinkly. So what I do is I rip a hole in the middle if I'm trying to... If I've got things to stick, I rip a hole. Then we stick one there, I think. Do we go in that direction? Yep, that one go in that direction, that one go in that direction. Give it a bit more of a rip if you want. Make it nice and textured. Tuck a bit under there. Right, so these little things, these could be like your, this is like your dotage really. Or your sequins or your pearls or whatever you want to call them. So what have I got? Five there. Right, where are we going to put these? Um, this would make a very girly gift box, wouldn't it? For a, maybe a birthday or... No, I'm taking my life in my hands here. little bit of a twirly whirly yes there we go I was only joking about taking my life in my hands <laughs> taking my fingers into my hands yes these pink roses are lovely yeah on um I don't know if I've said this before we were watching countdown the other day and I love that that Susie lady she she will give exp she at some point in the show she'll explain the origins of words and she she talks about the origins of the word trunk and why it's so confusing but when you know what the origin is it kind of makes loads of sense so she was saying that obviously you get a tree trunk and then people used to cut down the tree trunk and hollow it out to make a box. So the box made from the tree trunk was then called a trunk because it held, it held, you know, and it holds things. So then they were saying that for, from an anatomical point of view, like the, on the body, you've got, you describe the trunk of a person as being a trunk uh, because it's a bit like, I don't know, a tree trunk it's like a sturdy you know part of the body or whatever so that's how you get the name for your body the trunk and then we have in the UK I don't know what you call them in America but we the men here if you go swimming you wear trunks which is a piece of clothing that has you know if you imagine it's like um, it's shorts isn't it so that's what you put yeah it <laughs> anyway it's yeah and then of course the trunk of a car which I think came from the idea of something that holds something so yeah it, it all gets very confusing right I'm feeling the need for a little bit of purlage on here just to give it a little bit more fancy danciness so I'm looking for my pearls have I got my pearls here yes I have hello Esther nice to see you Oh, these are really old ones. I'm going to do some using up today. Some old pearls. There we go. Yes, so yeah, do you call them swimming trunks? Yeah. Okay, so that's the same as here then. Going 
Oh, no, don't escape. Come back. Look, I've got pearls that have like escaped all over my container, so I'm going to see if I can get them back. Oh no, it didn't want to come away with me. Okay, stay there then. Fine. Don't be used on a card. Yes, thank you. Yeah. We had a barbecue this afternoon, even though the weather really wasn't barbecue weather. We were like... It, we will enjoy a barbecue. <laughs> okay, so I need you to stay over here. Like that. There we go. That's a really cute, very feminine looking decoration there. Now we could have a word going across there. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Lovely. Have we got a you are? Your. Um, would be nice to put. Or celebrate. Celebrate might be nice. Let's see what that looks like. You call them togs or bordies for shorts. For short. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, that is cute. Very elegant. Very, very elegant. Okay, where's my pizza box has gone? I actually tidied up a little bit today, would you believe? Okay, let's fold this up quickly. So we're going to take those little tabby bits off. Put those in. Stella's wink I feel on the celebrate. Oh, that's a good idea. Things we have gone a bit sort of shimmery and glitzy. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, thank you, Annika. Very kind of you. Let's... There we go. Little touch of the old wink there. Okay, who does not have wink in their lives? Just, just asking. You know, who hasn't discovered the power of the wink? Okay, now I feel that that gets a little bit lost. So I'm wondering about putting a little pink border all the way around. What do you think? Or we leave that to go on the back. And I could use something else. Let's see if I've got something else pink that I can use. That. No. Uh, what about just a piece of? It's it's really. I think it's like a version of. Is it supposed to be Mullard Mambo or Magenta Madness? Let's grab a piece and see. Oh yes. Let's do this. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry, Sheila. Yeah, I know black would make it pop, but I ended up going for this. Sorry. Okay, let's just do it. 
tiny slither, or like the tiniest slithers of a border. So I'm, I'm cutting this at three and one eighth. And I'm just going to cut that end bit off because sometimes, you know, when pieces of card are stored in the scrap box, they get a little bit dogged at the corners. So sometimes it's nice to have a fresh corner, make it all nice and tidy. Oh, yes. This, is det this bit is determined to come out, isn't it? I might have to deal with it by putting a bit of hot glue, I think. Need to get it to behave itself. Hi, Kathy. Oh, look at that. See, this would look beautiful on a card. You know, if you did a great big six by six card and put that right in the middle, that would look gorgeous. Oh, you're saying black and then pink. Ooh, that would be luxurious. Yes, you could quite easily do that. Yes, you please, please have a go and do that and show us what that looks like because that would be beautiful. Okay, right, let's deal with you because you're being a bit of a pain. I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue there. I'm just going to waft this over here. I'm going to get this. I don't want to get hot glue on my finger. Poke that down. There we go. That's better. This is your favourite, is it? It's such a classic combination, isn't it? Black and white with a pop of colour. If ever you're stuck for colour colour combining, you cannot go wrong at all. Black and white and some colour. Right, let's cover the back then, because I've got a spare bit of this. Do I have a spare piece of this? Let's see how, what the sizing of this is. Oh, it's just under three inches, so if I cut that to just two and seven eighths. Cut this down to two and six eighths. Hi, Joanna. I'm thumbsy up. Don't know about you, but this is worth it. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Esther. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you, everybody who watches, thumbs ups me, comments. Oh, it's so lovely. Like after I've you know done the hard work of creating a video or whatever to go back and then just read what you guys have thought you know even if it's to say mm, don't like that colour or whatever I really don't mind I don't mind at all uh, but yeah I'm your typical hoarder of DSB says Inika oh a thin black border says Cindy okay maybe if I've got a bit hold on I'll check Let me get this stuck down first. Right, let me see if I've got a bit of black up to hand. Oh, I had this problem the other night, didn't I? I was like struggling to find. Oh, but look at that. Yeah, use it up. You know, because you can't take it with you. Nothing lasts forever. You know that. Thank you, Monica. You're the best. So I know I haven't done my Zoom classes for a while and I know some of you are itching to get back into class with me. Uh, my studio is very nearly finished. 
well when I say very nearly I mean the build is nearly finished but I then need to get the electrician to come back and also I need to do the flooring before I can properly move in there but just out of interest if uh, I just want to gauge your interest really if I were to offer Zoom classes with product for those of you who are in the UK, now I know some of you do watch me and you don't interact with me on social media but you email me, that's fine, let me know via email. Um, if you're the sort of person that perhaps, you know, when you get the new catalogue and you go, oh, I love that bundle, but if I get it, I want, you know, I want at least five ideas and I've only got one. Or I want 10 ideas, you know. Will it be heated? I hope so, Janine. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking of offering, like, a class around a bundle and with a few supplies to kind of get you going. So that's that one idea. Right, let's zoom out a little bit. Like that. And then, obviously, if you don't live in my region you'll have to buy your supplies yourself and then I'll, I'll charge a nominal fee for the class so if you want to attend you can but when I say class what I'll probably do is actually pre-record some of the instructions and then make the video available to everyone that's paid for the class so if you can't actually make a live class you, you'll have access to all the information there's that idea. Jean would attempt. Ma Marilyn Monroe in these colours. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Monica. Yes, yeah, so Europe is fine. So, yeah, so my region is Europe. So France, Germany, the Netherlands and Austria. So if you're in... And the UK. So if you're in one of those five countries, I can sell to you so I could send you a kit um, and of course if you wanted them not in English you can ask for them to be not in English if, if the stamp set is available in your language so there we go uh, hold on that was first wasn't it so one two three four um, and that was all the cardstock was mainly from the memories and more pack apart from that last bit of paper that came from the is it love you always i think it's called the black and white papers you know this fabulous paper here um four three two one oh there we go that's the oh four three one two um how can you not have wink oh yes I, I know some of you were answering whether or not you have wink. Hold on. Did that... Some people say they didn't have wink. or We ended up talking about trunks, didn't we? <laughs> it's amazing the topics we get through on this channel, isn't it? Um... No, you didn't miss a Zoom announcement, Mindy. I was just talking about whether or not people would also like to have a product base class and so I don't know let's have a look at the current catalogue and I'll give you an example of what I mean um. okay so for example like in the current catalogue we've got the in good taste bundle so we've got a stamp set and a set of dies so what I would say is if you bought the bundle so the bundle costs 45 pounds I would possibly um, say okay well I'll put together a kit that will cost about 55 pounds and then there'd be postage but you would get £55 of product, so you'd get the bundle, plus £10 of uh, other like cardstock papers, embellishments, all that kind of thing. Uh, you would then have the stamp set and the dies to cut, cut out what you need to cut out, but you would then make quite a few projects. I mean, you're looking at probably at least 
10 cards, you know, maybe, you know, two each of five designs, uh, maybe a 3D item. So, yeah. And, and you know, I would film, film those projects. So that's just an example of what I would have done, you know, but obviously I'm looking ahead to the next catalogue now to other bundles. So if then if you wanted to attend the Zoom, then I would charge kind of I'd probably charge what I normally charge, which is um, sixteen pounds just to attend the class without the product. So if you're not in my region, then if you're from America or Australia or New Zealand or Canada, then you could just attend the Zoom class. So that's just an example. So. You're melting with this one. This is so girly for you, Martina. It's brought out your feminine side. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Okay, fab, guys. So just um, keep keep a lookout for my announcements. I'll do any class. I got my first wink after six weeks of joining, and you're on your fourth now within a year. In a you have, do you um once these run out do you try putting a bit of alcohol inside and giving it an extra shake just to get the most out of it uh, the other thing you can do is also just use these as brushes so you can open these up and put a you can actually take this off you see this black bit this comes off you just got to get your scissors in there and pry it off um you could use this as just a brush so you could put some drops of reinka and uh, some alcohol in there and um, use it as a brush, brush pen type thing. You're not so much into pinks, but that's awesome. There we go. <laughs> you do refill. Oh, good, Imika. Hi, Jan. Oh, wonderful. You got to see the grandchildren. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I know how much you've missed them. Oh, so pleased. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Thank you for sticking around. And uh, yeah, in the mark. Oh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go off and start the April chat on Artful Stamping Space. For those of you, just a reminder, uh, on Artful Stamping Space, there's no sharing of links. Please, if you want to share a link, just message me, and I'll, I'm happy to share it. Also, can we keep all the kind of like the general chit chat and if you've got a question could you pop it in the months chat group because I go through and tidy up the page because what I like to have is just picture after picture of just your beautiful creations so I um I go through the board and tidy it up every so often so if you want your question to be archived as it were then please put it in the appropriate months question area um, and that I don't delete anything out of there unless you've posted a link or something so please remember artful stamping space is a wonderful facebook group where people share the creations that they've made after they've watched one of my videos after they've been inspired by something they've seen me do uh, just also a, a reminder that if you want people to um, be able to uh, what's the word if some people pin pictures directly and so if you want to have your name attached to your photo then I do highly recommend that you watermark everything before you put them in the public domain because I've noticed that some people are taking screenshots from that group and they're putting them onto Pinterest now I, I personally I I, I I wouldn't do that it's it's not my I, I just feel it's the wrong kind of etiquette personally but um people do do it and if you want to make sure that if you're a demonstrator and you want people to be able to find you and your work then please do watermark yourself so generally I try and watermark everything that I put out in the public domain am I taking Good Friday off from what Delinda <laughs> how do you watermark well if you've got um an android or, or um, if you're on an iPhone or iMac or whatever, then there are lots of apps out there for you to watermark. So if you just go to your app store or um, your iStore, then you can um, 
literally just download a, a an app that will help you do that okay private message me in a curve you have some problems uh, from videos well we have a friday service so at 10 30 tomorrow morning we'll be having a short service is donovan featuring oh yeah Donovan's featuring in the service tomorrow for a bit longer for a bit than longer usual. than usual I'm talking a bit less and he's miming a bit more there we go so, so and we're going to be singing a few extra songs yeah, I, so yeah, it's a bit more yeah, of a bit shorter than usual a bit more of a reflective service a for Good Friday talking. and we haven't got anything majorly planned because the weather is really turning quite yeah, horrible snow, so Normally, we would, because of the restrictions in Wales, we'd say, oh, if anyone wants to pop in for a cup of tea, um, yes, Amanda, definitely, yes, uh, definitely for you and Samantha because of what, yeah, that you sell your stuff. Um, yeah, so normally we'd be saying, you know, so Tom's parents would come over for a cup of tea in the garden or whatever, but, oh, we we'll just, see. we'll see. We just don't feel we can invite people over when it's so cold. Mm. Um, and we're still not really supposed to have people in our houses, so who don't belong to our bubble. Which not we, the bubble. Well, you, we could we could bubble with a sing, one single person, couldn't mm. we? But we don't have anybody specific. So there we go. So yes, you may see me Friday. I might not. Yeah, because it's actually quite fun to come on and do a live. Would you, would you want to? Oh no, you've got to get Sunday ready, haven't you? So yeah. you could come on and do something. But yeah. Anyway. I enjoy doing this anyway. It's a bit of time out from cooking and cleaning. <laughs> Which I've cooked. Oh, we cooked quite a bit today, didn't we? Oh, man, I'm stuffed. Yeah. Chinese chicken. We had burgers this Beef. afternoon. Uh, no, pork, wasn't it? We had slow-cooked pork today. Leftover chicken wings from yesterday. Night, Kay. Oh, you use iWatermark. There we go. So for the, those of you who are... Um, What's the word? iOS users. Is that right? iPhone. Is that iOS? No, iOS is uh, Android, isn't it? Is it? I don't not. know. No, Android is Android. Who knows? What about my studio? Uh, it, I'm not quite ready to move in there yet, Amanda. But my builder is doing some work on it tomorrow. He's not taking the day off, is he? No. He's, he's busy. So, there we go. Hope the Easter Bunny finds me. <laughs> you know what? I'm the Easter Bunny. I've bought the Easter eggs. They are on the mantelpiece underneath the chicks. And my mother-in-law has bought the eggs for the kids. And we've, we've got one to share, haven't we? But yes, we've got one to share because the kids didn't want the bounty one. So me and Tom are going to share the bounty one. And we've we've got to go and be Easter Bunny for other people, haven't we? We've got to yeah. drop some Easter eggs off. So... Um, Thanks, Amanda. I'll I'll quickly go over to Artful Stamping Space and I'll pop up April's chat and I'll put a picture of the latest cladding on the outside of my studio. Well, you can light a fire in a fire basket. <gasps> you know what? I am thinking that, Martina. The only problem is I've got fake grass in my garden. So I've got to think that one through. I might have to put a piece of slab down if we're going to have a fire basket in the garden. When? Because it's cold. That's what Martina suggested. How do you make a fire basket? You get a. Well, you buy one. It's, like what a, do you, it's a basket. You a it? no, you, can you, no, you can't cook on it if you're burning bits of wood. It's straight in my fire basket. <laughs> oh dear, that's such a, <laughs> that's an old, random joke it's a random that no one's going to get. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it would be good. Oh, that's, out, tr that's <laughs> true, Christine. I'll be like melting my. Gr Fake grass. Yeah. We, we The front of the house has got some shingle. We could maybe have it at the front, but I'm not sure the neighbours would be very happy. Mind you, it's the back of... Oh, anyway. Lovely to see you all. Ah, yeah, there are fire grass that doubles the grill. Yeah, Tom's... George will get jealous. Tom's got a George Foreman electric... George get jealous. Uh, uh, ...barbecue that he uses. Pull the fake grass back. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of staked in though, and my studio is over the top of one section of it, so I'd have to like reach right under the studio and pull it back. So um, we'll have a think. Yeah, hopefully the weather won't stay this cold for long. Yeah, 
Right, Good. lovely to see you all. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for telling me what your favourites are. And if you're watching on the replay, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Share this video out with any of your friends. And if you want notifications, hit the bell button. And all the products, I think all the products are still available. As far as I know, everything that I used apart from this stuff. This is coming back though very soon, this silvery stuff. Uh, everything is available on the in the Stampin' Up shop. Ta-da!